everyone welcome to my video um, I've been on the search for a new recording software Fraps output files have been getting really weird recently and I don't know why I can't seem to import them into Vegas very well so that set me on a search to find a new recording software at the moment I thought reading the literature now it's stupid I know I should have downloaded the trial and tried it but I read all the literature and I thought right play claw seems like it might be really good because it outputs the mp4 and does all the other things I want it to do however I'm having real issues with it so anyway I bought it it's not cheap it was like nearly 30 quid um, it's quite a lot of money for for recording software compared to some of the others out there which I've actually found have been a little bit better I've t tried some demos of some other ones what I'm going to do in this video is show you um, I want to output to mp4 okay so I'm going to show you the, the settings that I've used so this pretty much two here that we can use there's Intel QuickSync and there's also AMD VCE which is quite new actually it only sort of was there the other day anyway I've, I've tried both these so these two both output to mp4s the others this mjpeg outputs to AVI well that's no good what I want to do is I want to output to mp4 it's a smaller file and I don't have to then go and convert with handbrake to make it to make it work what's happened or what's been happening is I've discovered that it's a really I'm just not finding PlayCall very good for my system. I've got a reasonably quick system. I'm using an Intel i5 processor. I've got uh, 8 gig of RAM, which should be plenty. And I've also got uh, a, a, I don't know what it is. It's a uh, 7850, no, 7870, something power um, GPU. So it's an AMD GPU. Suffice to say, it should. I should be able to cover most bases and using other software such as Fraps I never really found an impact on my look at my previous videos if you want to see what Fraps is like I have used DX3 in the past as well um, and I was going to continue using it but to get it to output to MP4 there's a lot of playing around and I wasn't really happy with the way it output to MP4 and the file I was left with and I just I, I don't know it just didn't feel right for me forcing it to do something it wasn't very comfortable doing I'd rather go and get something that actually worked right so what you can do in these uh, settings is so I've been using Intel QuickSync. Now I've gone through a myriad of these different kilobit per second sort of rates. So the bit rate of kbps. Now going up for, from 5,000 gives me really terrible playback, and I'll show you that shortly. Using 50,000 gets me where I want to be. So I've tried kind of the permutations in between. So 50,000 is about where it needs to be. Um, I've left it as default anyway. So I've tried all these different settings with PlayClaw. The software itself is really great, nice and simple, easy to set up, easy to use. You can, you know, set up things how you want to. You've got loads of overlays you can use. Really lovely piece of software. However, the 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 codec, which was is touted as being this phenomenal, you know, really low impact, doesn't do anything. As you will soon see, is actually pretty bloody awful. Uh, well, that's what my opi my opinion, and I found it to be pretty awful. So. I want it to be a warning to you. I'm actually thinking that I'm going to be requesting a refund of this software because it just doesn't do what it says it's going to do. And it was an awful lot of money. So I'll move on now. I'm going to probably talk over the the FPS issues and stuff and the audio audio problems when I'm recording the MP4 are just ridiculous. So I'll move on to the next bit, which is me showing you the videos I've recorded. I've used Stranded Deep. I've got it on Ultra Settings and I've kept it pretty pretty much as it should be. So um, let's move on.
Okay, so it's a little bit crude uh, because it's difficult to show, but if you look how smooth, and you can see I'm getting 87, 75, dropping drop to about 71 FPS. I don't know if that's showing up on the film, but look at the smoothness of the way that's moving. Now I press record, play call, immediately drops to 20, well not even moving, 20, down to 21 the lowest. And it, I don't know if it's showing how jerky the movement is. So if I it kind of jolts around and jumps about instead of being smooth, I'll stop recording again and do the same thing. It just moves around smoothly, things just come into place. Once I record, really jerky, sort of like jumps. So here's a side-by-side -side of both Playclaw and DX3, both outputting in AVI essentially, the MJPEG codec for um, Playclaw. Now it was much better Playclaw using an AVI output, but I don't think the quality of the video, personally when you see it on a, on a large screen, looks as good. And I don't, I don't see the reason why Playclaw should be more expensive to be able to do the same thing that you can do in uh, programs that are a lot cheaper. So. You, you compare, you see what you think, the side by side, one's the extra which has a very, very low impact on, on frame rates, I mean this, this recording stuck it around 35 to 40 FPS the entire time. So that's another thing. Let's move on now and I'll look at some other demos, they're going to be watermarked but I'm not going to be buying lots of stuff. The next one up is um, Action. So here we have the footage from Action, which for the price, I think you can get it for about nineteen dollars. That's like sort of twelve or thirteen pounds. It was a solid performer. Sixty FPS was really not changing. The video file looks good. A little bit blurry. If you look at the trees, there's sort of a bit of double shadow on the trees. So not as good as DX3 at all, particularly in the AVI. But really solid. Much better than Playclaw. And this is output into MP4. I've not tried it using AVIs yet. So we'll see. And finally, here's Bandicam. Again, I'm not that impressed with Bandicam. It did output to MP4, but it seems to be a really messy file. The best program, it seems, to output to MP4 was Action. Solid 60 FPS all the way. Much better than Playclaw, and at a, almost a third of the price. So you have to make your own mind up and decide what you want to do. Maybe I should invest in a different editing package. Maybe Sony Vegas is just not the right one. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please hit like, please hit subscribe and make sure you watch all my other videos, they're absolutely fantastic and very interesting. I love you. Bye.